your baby cutie ones. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, friends and family. Exciting day. You ready, Tina? Go We're up it. early. The kids are still sleeping, but it's Wednesday. Buy goats. We're gonna buy some goats. <laughs> We've been busy. We've got a lot of stuff done. Get got the goat crates. Got a screen door on. Didn't do my haircut. Yes. <laughs> Oops, he's a little shaggy. <laughs> but yeah, it's time to wake up the kids and go get some goats. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. Here we go. Ready? Okay. What do you think, James? <laughs> okay, so I set up I set up a fence right here, and we're gonna make a big area and take down the fence that Harry and Ron are in and make a double-sized area for them. And we'll start with turning that fence off and putting Harry and Ron up here. So that that wooden fence and stuff, it's some previous owner set up some kind of holding area. It looks like the kind of area where you could back a cattle trailer up and load and unload animals and keep them in a smaller area. That looks like what that is. So I couldn't mow it. So this will be a great job for the goats to be in there for a few days clearing it all out. It's goat number one of four. I believe three of them are purebred Kikos, and I think the pure white ones are a Kiko Boer cross, I believe. All right, so two of the goats we got are twin sisters, and this is one of them, and the other looks a lot like her. They're this light brown with a black belly. I think that one's Daisy. Aria wants to name them Daisy and Poppy. Daisy and Poppy, the flower girls. Can I feed Snowball some grain? This one's Hermione. She has a cute kind of harlequin face. And she seems to be the most skittish one. The, the white one, Snowflake, is the, or Snowball, is the most friendly. Okay, here's the other twin Oh, twin sister, Poppy. You're okay. We'll take you to your sister right now. You're okay. Good hair. Okay, we've got the fence up and the goats are settled in. We haven't electrified the fence yet, so we know from experience with the first two boys, Harry and Ron, that they'll get shocked the first few times and kind of spaz out and maybe even run into the fence more, so we'll have to be babysitting them a bit today. But things are turning out really good. Just for reference, I'll turn you around. We're just we're on our driveway that heads straight out. The yurt's right over there. And we've been kind of working our animals this direction. And the old the old fixer upper house is right up there. And the goats are here. And this will be a good spot for them to work through all this brush. And they look happy. Hey, keep your head out of that fence. That's not what you should do, silly. Tina's got the hedge trimmers and loppers and she's cleaning up some of the spots where significant uh, weeds and brush are touching the fence because too much weeds on the fence grounds it out. So 
So we need to stop that and then we'll all get out and turn on the electrified fence and just kind of keep an eye on them through the day. They are just feasting. I got tux. Oh, look at that goat. <laughs> Arya is being such a big helper. She has just fallen in love with reading during COVID. She's on Harry Potter 3. Our very nice friends loaned us that book. And she agreed to hang out here with the goats and read and just keep an eye on them. Because while they're getting trained to this electric fence, you know, when, when we first got Harry and Ron, Harry got zapped and then kind of lunged into the fence and got all tangled up. But, so, but he, we, they were right behind the shop, so we heard it. Yeah. No. So Arya's going to hang out with the goats and enjoy reading, and then she would hear a commotion if something happened like that. So, thank you, sweetheart. Arya is such a nice girl. <laughs> we're so proud of her. Nom, nom, nom. And look at those girly goats. There's Ron, over there. And then Harry and Ron are doing their thing over here. Another, another bit of perspective I can show you. The, back here, you can see where I mowed. And the pond is right here. The pond is right there. And there's a, there's a ditch. There's a ditch that goes up, kind of the unmowed line going up there is a ditch that somebody cut you can tell to try to improve drainage straight towards the pond so sometime we'll have to figure that out but in the meantime it makes it really hard for me to mow on the other side of it because it gets steeper pretty fast but um but yeah these goats are really going to help us you know transform this area into nicer nicer pasture with trees oh little snowball you got a zap that wasn't so bad that wasn't so bad. But yeah, anyways, we're loving having goats, getting better at handling them long term. I don't know when it would be awesome to borrow a buck and get some of these girls bred when they're older and increase the herd size because we've got so much land out here that could really do with goats, goats maintaining it, especially back up in there. I'll take you up on a walking tour up there sometime, but up there it's just wild and hard to get the tractor up in there to mow, so goats are gonna be a huge help in that kind of terrain. Which is, the, you know, goat's native terrain is kind of mountains and forest and all that kind of thing. They can climb and jump and survive. Huh, huh, mister.
Thank you, you are officially joined. Right, so productive day and it's been a productive week. Mm -hmm. Big highlight was getting a few more goats. They are over here. Look at those girls. They are doing such a good job eating. Yum, no yum, way. yum. Yum, yum, Looks yum. Looks like Hermione, Poppy, and Daisy. And here comes Harry and <laughs> These goats are chubbier than our Harry and Ron, so they look just nice and healthy and... Yeah, they're meat breeds, they're, they're Kiko. I believe three of them are purebred Kiko, and the one with the white is a Kiko boar mix, mm -hmm. and those are all meat breeds. And yeah, I picked each one of them up multiple times today, and they are some chunky they are hefty. goats. <laughs> so, so that's good. And yeah, they they're, great. They're, they're doing what we want them to do, which is help fight back the blackberries and improve our property so that's exciting and as you saw with Tina's list there's more to do mm -hmm. but um, the big thing we're a few weeks away from is building the kitchen in the yurt and kind of finishing out the utility room in terms of power and plumbing and actually having the washing machine in there there's a lot of stuff that's gonna happen so really really feeling good about making a lot of progress there was a while there a, a month or so ago where we just felt overwhelmed with how much we needed to get done but i don't know i don't know about you i'm not feeling that way as much anymore that we're just like drowning in too much stuff we need to do and not enough time I, we've to been do it all in, we've been enjoying ourselves a lot and eating dinner outside and been able we've been able to just i don't know we have some chillax afternoons where we go down yeah. to the stream. Yeah, we're settling in. Yeah, and we're learning to do things like enjoy stream time. I go for runs or exercise and just find ways to, you know, turn it off. You know, yep, we're done for the day mm -hmm. or done for a few hours. We can't work, you know, all day, every day. We've got to find a balance, especially for the kids. They would be a little neglected if we were just nose to the grindstone, <laughs> left them to fend for themselves all yep. the time. They're doing great. And our animals Aria, are doing James, great. what do you guys think of the goaty goats? Snowflake's so friendly. Snowflake is very friendly. She's definitely a friendliest goat. Yeah. New no means snowball. It said snowflake. The lady we bought the goats from was so nice. She spent a lot of time talking to us and teaching us more about goats. And I believe, yeah. I believe she said the white goat snowball was the only one that was bottle fed. So she'll be a little more people friendly and maybe a little more whiny. She was whining, kind of hairy levels of whining earlier where mm -hmm. the other girls weren't. So we'll see. Yeah, it's funny Remind to see that difference. A little like a loud too. Today. Yeah. Not yep. Okay, well, thanks for sticking with us. We are having a great time. We got goats, we got chickens, we got kids, we got another baby coming. <laughs> All sorts of things happening here. Yep. And. We put a deposit down to get a puppy. So I don't know if that's a sure thing or a mostly sure thing, but we are going to be getting a puppy. Yeah, we're really excited. That's, that's a month away or something, but there's your little teaser for future critters. All right, thanks everybody. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. bye.